It's time for... The Northwoods Cooking Show! Starring Uncle Roy and Miss Callie, the troublemaking dog. Hello, and welcome to the Northwoods Cooking Show's 100th episode. Ho-ho! <laughs> Hello! your host, Uncle Roy, and my special guest hostess, Miss <laughs> Kelly Ellie Ellis. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Oh, the 100 episode queen herself. Look at her. Oh, all in her bling. Yeah, sit pretty. Here you go, Kelly Ellie. Sit pretty. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh. Hey, you got scared by the noises. Yeah, oh. So, for our 100th a- episode, what are we going to make? Oh my lord. We're going to do something special, Cali Alley's, don't we? Yeah, we do. We're going to make Cali Alley some gourmet doggy treats. Yeah, we haven't been doing any treats in a long time. No, we haven't. So, we'll make the gourmet doggy treats today. And we're also going to be making lobster Newberg. Ooh, ho, ho, Cali's. Ooh, I don't think you need that one. <laughs> we're going to make the lobster Newberg first. And for this, what we're going to do is, it's going to be very simple to make. It sounds extravagant, and it is, because it has lobster meat in it. But it's very simple to make. And what you're going to start out with is, uh, we're going to use the Petridge Farm Puff Pastry Shells. That, that makes it really easier. And you want to make sure your oven is preheated at 425. And I just put a little spray on the pan just to keep you some sticking. And then these get to skip bake for 20 to 25 minutes until they're light golden brown. That's it. And while those are baking, we can take and start making our Newberg. Ooh, lobster Newbergs. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, you look so pretty in your necklaces. Oh, they're all pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh. <laughs> Celebrating. Yeah, the 100th anniversary. Or anniversary. Come on, it's the anniversary, the 100th episode. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it's 100 episodes. Oh, my word. Where has the time gone, Callie? I remember when we first started, she was just a little puppy and she'd be right on my heels every time I turn on the mixer. She'd be right there, waiting, sniffing, sniffing. Her nose would go around the corners, all around the counters. Oh, now she sits and she waits until everything's done before she comes begging. Oh, she's a sample of those all the time. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of which, let's take a, uh, a trip down memory lane. Here's some episodes. I, I uh, picked out some highlights for you, so I hope you enjoy this.
Boy, wasn't that fun going down memory lane? Oh my lord, some of those were just incredible. <laughs> we did all that stuff, we're all everywhere and doing everything. Wasn't that fun, Miss Kelly Alley? And was she just a doll? Oh, yeah, look at her, all her blings, yeah, yeah, yeah. In a party coat, yeah, yeah, yeah. So for the Newberg, we have a quarter cup of butter. Um, keep that on a low heat. You don't want it to boil, otherwise it's going to curdle on you. We don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> and let this keep this on low heat, and we just let this melt down. While that's melting, in my cup here I have two egg yolks, and to this we're going to be adding a half cup of heavy cream. Kind of like, almost kind of sort of like making an alfredo sauce in a way. Or almost like a hollandaise sauce. More, it's more of a hollandaise sauce. Because we got the heavy cream and the uh, yolk. Alfredo is just heavy cream and parmesan. And we're going to add that to our melted butter. Just waiting for the butter to melt. Boy, can you believe a hundred episodes? Oh my lord, I can't believe it. I remember when I first started this, it, you know, two, year, two and a half years ago, it was October 1st, I believe. Oh, you know, I was like everybody else, I saw the commercial on uh, cable access on channel 18, saying about how you can uh, try out for, or um, go to orientation, you know, produce your own film, etc. And I thought to myself, hmm, what can I do? I thought to myself, well, I could have my own cooking show. I've always wanted my own cooking show. Who, did, who does it? You know, if you love to cook like I do, it's always a feather in your head. You always want to take and do, uh, have your own cooking show someday. And my roommate, he was so discouraging. He was like, oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. You know, you're not going to do it, this and that, blah, blah, blah. You're going to lose interest, et cetera, et cetera. Blah, blah. I'm like, oh, my God, sounds just like my dad. That makes me even do things more. <laughs> People tell me no, then I'm going to do them. <laughs> But anyway, so then I was like watching it and it's like, oh, I'm going to try out for that. And I did. And I stuck it out. And as you saw from my episodes from the very, very beginning, oh, how terrible I was at my filming and editing and everything compared to now, which I'm not that great, but it's much, much better than what it was the first day. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, this is all melted. Then we're going to take and just slowly add our heavy cream and uh, egg yolk mixture. Now you want to stir this mixture in the pot until it starts to thicken up. And when it does, then we just take it off the heat completely. And you don't want this to come to a boil now, remember. You want to constantly stir this because you got the egg yolk in there. You don't want it to curdle, you don't want it, you know, set up on you. If it boils, then we're going to have scrambled eggs. <laughs> there, that's our sauce. It is very similar to Hollandaise. Now to that, we're going to be adding a half teaspoon of kosher salt. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, I suppose you don't have to put the salt in if you want to go on a low sodium. Mmm. Oh, we're making it with Kelly Ellie's. Pretty girl. Oh. And we need a pinch of nutmeg, and a pinch of cayenne pepper. Now you don't have to put in the pepper if you don't want to. Just a dash of nutmeg and cayenne pepper, and you don't have to put the pepper if you don't want it hot. It's not that hot. hot. And that's it. Well, where did my lobster meat go? Here it is. <laughs> and then you want 12 ounces of lobster meat. Now I'm going to get my cutting board out because some of this meat is claw meat. I gotta check it over here because it's, I mean, what I mean by that is, I mean, it's the delicious meat from the claws, but it's big chunks. So I wanna, you know, dice it up, cut it up into bite sized pieces. And this looks like it's all broken up into pieces. That's good. We'll just add that right straight to our sauce. Ooh, Kelly Ellie, lobster meats. Mmm. This is real cheap. Ooh, I haven't had lobster in years. 
I got this lobster frozen at uh, the rainbow during Christmas when it was on sale. And I thought, well, I want to save this for something special. What's more special than a hundredth anniversary? Anniversary, a hundredth episode. Let's see the big old, big old claw meat. Ooh. I'm going to just cut those into bite-sized pieces. And that should be the timer for our pastry puffs. Then you just want to stir this and just let it sit until the lobster meat is heated thoroughly. Now that lobster meat was frozen and I just defrosted it in the microwave on low. So let's thaw it out. You just want that to heat up now with the meat. Oh, a little puffs a little. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, the pumps are kind of quick and quick. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of bend over. <laughs> and we'll just let those cool slightly. I still want a somewhat warm, hot pastry shell for the finished product. Okay, Kelly, let's put this together. Ooh. Now, you can take, and there's a little round circular part at the top of the shell, and you can just cut that out, and then that gives you your empty cup. And save it, because you can still eat it. We can use it as a garnish. Ooh, it's hot. Mmm. Ooh, Cali, this looks so good. And now this is our lobster Newberg. Oh, Cali, oh, it's going to be so rich. Oh, of course, it's going to have to shoot up quite a bit. <laughs> And believe me, I'll shoot up for this one. I'm not going to pass it up. No way. Oh, yummy, yummy, all that lobster meat. <laughs> now, you don't have to pour the whole thing on top of it all, but I'm going to pour it as much as I can. <laughs> and then you just take the little tops that you cut off, and you can just use these, stick them in as little cute little garnishes. And that's our Lobster Newberg from the Northwoods Cooking Show. Mmm, you doing a good Kelly? Yeah. Happy 100th episode. and I are here to uh, thank you for watching our show. Yeah, I remember when you just little puppies. Yeah. We've had a lot of fun doing the show, going out to the gardens, cooking for holidays, dressing up in costumes. We enjoy doing the show for you. And if we can make you smile, forget your troubles for half an hour, then we've done our job. And if you don't follow the recipes, that's fine too. I have people that watch just for the entertainment and just for the amusement. So Callie, from Callie and I, we want to say thank you for watching the show, and we hope to see you again so uh, soon again. 
and keep watching and be sure to tell your friends. And if you have any favorite recipes that you have of your own for your, from your family, send them our way. We'd love to try out new ideas. And Callie and myself, we want to say healthy eating, be safe, spread the sunshine, and thank you for 100 episodes. <laughs>
just because the cheese in there, you just don't want it to stick to the pan. That's the main reason. And I'm just going to lightly spray that. And we're just going to cut these into caviales. And like I said, you can use any type of cookie cutter you want to. I got some you know, little heart shaped ones here. You have little miniature hearts. And like I said, you want to keep these on the smaller side because they are a treat, not a whole meal. And I got little birdies. Yeah. Little birdies. Kelly, she likes tasting birdies. And then you just take and line these up on your cookie sheets. And favorite. Squirrel. Oh, this is a big one. That's a big treat. I want to make a couple of those. I'm going to probably break it in half when I give it to her. <laughs> but I just like to have the, the novelty of having some squirrel treats. Yeah. You know how they love chasing the squirrels, especially this one. <laughs> and let's see what it's this. Oh, wrong side. Lips. Lips. Yeah. Little four kisses. Yeah. Oops, for kisses, for Valentine's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we just take and put these on our cookie sheets, and then we put these at 400 degrees for 15 minutes, and then we'll take and turn them over, and then bake for another 10 minutes. And those will be our gourmet doggy treats. You're all excited? Can't wait to hunt that. Oh. Hi, Callie and I are so happy that we just did, we just finished filming our 100th episode. Can you stand it? I feel like Mary Tyler Moore <laughs> when she did her 100th episode. Anyway, we're having a party down at the Northwest Community Television Studios, and we'd like you to be there. Bring along your favorite recipe to give to us so that we can probably play it in some other future shows. Uh, it's located at 6900 Winnetka Avenue North in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. 55429 case 55428 case you want to google a map from 5 to 7 p.m. hope to see you there and bring your recipes bye bye well Kelly's gourmet uh, doggy treats are all done and we'll make sure to uh, have her taste test them to make sure they're okay okay wait Kelly Ellie let's do the question and answer period too <laughs> Look, Kelly, I got a tweet. Oh, I got a tweet. Get a tweet, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, a little left. Oh, kiss it, kiss it. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. Oh, Kelly, I got cheesy, cheesy. Oh, she got the chrome. I think she likes it. Mmm. Let's see who brought us this week, Kelly. Dear Uncle Roy and Miss Kelly. I was wondering, how do you make poached eggs without the whites running all over the place? Sign Sally of Los Alamos, New Mexico. Ooh, Los Alamos. That's one of our sister cities. Yeah, Los Alamos. Yeah, hello, Los Alamos. Well, Sally, yeah, um, what I like to do when making my poached eggs is when the water comes to boil, even before then, but I like to use a smaller container, small fry pan that's deep. And when, uh, when you put your water in there, put in a teaspoon of vinegar. It helps out because when you, uh, water comes to boil and you crack open your eggs and you put them in there, the vinegar in the water will uh, coagulate the whites and it keeps them uh, around the yolk. And that way they don't spread out all over and you get a much more firmer white around the yolk. And then you just cook them off until you, how done you want them, whether they're medium or well done yolks. And that really holds them together nice and good. Make it right, Kelly Alley. And you just take your slotted spoon and drain it, and pick, pick them right up out of the water, and put them on your toast, and make a little white sauce, and put them over top of that. Wonderful. I hope that answers your question, Sally. And from Miss Kelly Alley, the 100 episode queen herself. Let's see. Oh, 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 birdies. Oh, birdies. 
Go for your treats. Oh, house is waking up. We want to say, eat healthy, be safe, spread the sunshine. And thank you for 100 episodes. And we hope to see you in 100 more. And please continue to watch us. And if you have any ideas for any uh, recipes that we should be doing or any gardening explorations we could be doing, feel free to write us at the Northwoods Cooking Show at yahoo.com. We'd be more than happy to take any and all suggestions. Thank you again. And happy 100 episode. Bye-bye.